Hello and welcome back! In this video, I will show you how to use the gate node in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So here we are in the third person character blueprint. And to get the gate node, you just right click and type gate. And you want to choose this one. Now this node has 5 inputs and 1 output. The first 4 inputs are execution pins and the last one is a boolean. So how the gate node works is kind of like a door. So when the door is open, things can go through the door, but when the door is closed, things cannot go through the door. So the first pin in this node is the enter execution pin. Now this pin is for when you want to run this node. Now the next pin is for opening the gate and the, the third pin is for closing the gate. And lastly we have a toggle. Now the toggle is it will check if the door is open and if it is open then it will close it and if it's closed it will open it. Now lastly the boolean start closed is if this value is ticked then when you play the game this gate is closed but if you untick it then when you play the game this gate is open. So here I have an example. Here we have uh, three nodes. The first one is an event tick. And here we have two action events. The first event is when you press the letter F on your keyboard. And the second one is for when you press the letter E. So the example I'm going to make is every tick is going to run the gate node and then it's going to output a text on your screen. Now I can close the gate with the F key and I can open the gate with the E key. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to get the gate. So for the event tick, we're going to connect it to the enter. For the F, we're going to connect press to open and E to close. And lastly, from the exit, I'm just going to drag out and type print string. And I'm going to give it a value of tick. And lastly, I'm going to make sure that start closed is ticked. So now go back to the viewport and you can test it. So in the bottom right corner, you can see the nodes. The orange color means that this code is being run. So the event tick is run every frame, so that's why it's always orange. Then if I press the letter F, I will open the gate. So you're gonna see, now the orange line is going straight to the print string. And you can see on the left side you have the text. And now I press E. Now the gate is closed. So when I press F, it opens the gate. And now when I press E, it closes the gate. Now let me show you what it's like when you untick start closed. So I'm going to untick it. Then I'm going to compile and play. And now you can see straight away the gate is open. I didn't press any button or anything, the gate is open if you untick the start closed. Now we have another thing that we haven't checked out yet is the toggle. So I'm going to connect F instead of to the open, we're going to connect it to toggle. And now when we play, oh I forgot to untick start closed, but um, now the gate is open, right? So I'm going to press on F and it toggles the gate and changes it to be closed. And this works every time I press F. So you can see it on the bottom right corner. Every time I press F, it opens and closes. So these are the two ways you can use the gate node. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Also, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. Here you'll be able to vote on the tutorials I should make and see some sneak peeks on some projects I'm working on. Also, you'll be able to join my private Discord server and much more. So feel free to check out my Patreon in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon.